We've talked about various types of colliding or overlaps. You can definitely add just some like wall wrecks around the top left bottom and boom. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy and this is part three of our Building Snake with Kaboom JS series. Now in the last two parts we created a basic snake game actually. Most of it is actually here. So we've got our snake head, we've got food that spawns, and we can move our snake and once you eat a food, uh, the snake grows in length and each part follows where its parent part uh, was previously. So you've got this nice snake effect here. So we use a, a recursive uh, method over like a linked list style system. So if you want more details on that, check out part two for how we did that. It's a little confusing given that recursion is sometimes a little confusing. And so we talk through it and explain what that code does. So definitely check out that video. Now here what we're gonna do is as this snake gets longer, what we need to do is if you run into yourself, uh, you need to lose and we're gonna do that by going to a game over scene. So now before we start, if you've enjoyed this series, be sure to hit like on this video and subscribe for more videos on making games with Kaboom, JS, and other web technologies. So now let's start, I'll make myself smaller. So here what we wanna do is when the head hits any body um, segment, we wanna just lose and go to a game over scene. So let's go to our snake scene. And here, notice that we use overlap with head and food. We can do a very similar thing, we overlap head with body. So to do that, let's add a tag to each body piece. So that's this here, inside the um, overlap between head and food, we create a new body, add it to our link list system by adjusting the children, the child pointers. Um, so let's go here. Now that every one of our body segments has a tag called body, we can detect an overlap between head and body. And if that is the case, we know we, uh, we are dead. So we need a game over here. So let's just make a very fast game over scene. Go to scenes here, let's call it game over. I'm gonna import kaboom. Export default class, do not class. We're in functions. Function game over. Taking out with using phaser for a second. Um, okay, so we're gonna return that. And so that's game over. Oh no, 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 no. This is not a component, this is a scene. So what we what we want here is just to create some text. And so we need a position, we need add first. Um, we need a position, text, and color. So let's do add, uh, give it a position. Let's put it in the middle of the screen, so we're gonna want width and height. So width times half is the middle on the x axis, and then height times half is the middle on the y axis. axis. And so that puts you, you know, basically here. Oh, and just for ease, we're gonna do origin so that we can center the text to the middle. And then that's position, text. Let's just say it says game over. And just say the size is 24. That should be it. Um, let's give it a color. And it's gonna be all red, no green, no blue, all visible. Uh, let's give it an origin, center. And that's it. Okay, so now let's register our scene. You're gonna remember, don't forget to register. Game over from scenes, game over, and we do k.scene, let's call it game over, game over, uh, game over. Cool, we need to register so that we can actually use it. Now inside snake, so when this happens, we want to go to this new scene. So we're going to do go. That's how we change scenes. So here, go game over. So just to speed this up a little bit, let's make our snake move uh, much faster. Aha. So you saw that we lost immediately after adding 
uh, segment. Now, why is that happening? So what happened here is the second we added it, it in fact did overlap. So how we have the system is we put you at the tail um, and then you just move along following your parent. But that does mean for the first tick or so, um, the first movement, you are overlapping the, the new piece is overlapping the head when you first get it, um, when you're just two segments long. So what we want to do is actually note when a segment is actually new. So let's just do that in the link here. So let's say let is new. Is new, uh, let's just say true. And then once you've actually updated one time, is new is going to be false. And let's go here, is new. And then we return is new. And in our scene, we are only going to do this if the body is not new. So we get the head and we get the body. So if body dot is new, return. So that we basically don't run into new bodies. We give our our um, player a chance here. If you somehow run into the end of yourself. Um, immediately after eating, it doesn't seem very fun or fair to the player. And, it, and in this case, uh, when we only have two segments, the way we have it set up, they are overlapping each other. All right, so there we go. So now we just simply ignore the first time we run into any sort of new body. Well, not the first time we run into the first for the first tick, we ignore any running into that particular body part. So ran into ourselves and went to the game over scene, so that's awesome. Uh, now that we're here, we want a way to go back and like replay. So let's in our game over scene here, just do a simple key press. Key press. And then so if key press or not, or when key press enter, uh, we're going to go to the snake scene again. So key press, go, and then we're going to restart ourselves. Go snake. So this like snake movement is kind of mesmerizing. The game may be more fun moving faster actually. The things you're going to also do is, of course, add a uh, collision with the wall. So we're not going to do that in this series, but we've talked about various types of colliding or overlaps. You can definitely add just some like wall wrecks around the top left bottom, and boom. And uh, when that hit each other, just also send to the game over screen. So I'm going to hit enter here, and now we're starting again. So that's working brilliantly. Um, so what was not so fun is that every time the snake starts at 8-8, eight, eight, so we don't really want to start at 8 every time. Uh, that seems not so fun. So let's start our snake randomly. So this is where we create our head. So instead of that, we can use get random position that we're using for the food. Right, so we've imported that now. Okay, this is an auto import. In case you don't have the tilde, here's the relative import. Okay, so see, we started in the middle. Let's see if I can kill myself. Okay, so there. Okay, now we started at a random place. This is a bit more interesting, because now we're starting at a random spot in the game board, instead of always at the top left corner. So this is pretty cool. All right, so some other things you can do. We can add score to this. We have different scenes. We can go from scene to scene. Our snake is moving around, so let's actually add a score and then we can wrap up this final part of creating snake. So what is snake without a score? Alright, so let's add a score. So in our scene here, uh, let's see, we got that. Let's go with, uh, let's see, let score zero. Each time you eat food, which is over here, plus plus score, so 
that increments square by one, although this may be foreign to a lot of you, you can also do this. We can do square plus plus, right? Either one, all the same. So we're gonna update our, the score. Now we wanna show the score somewhere. So let's make a some UI here. Let's put it here. Score text. Add. Uh, we have a position, and we're going to put our score actually at the top left. So let's just say mm, two two text. We want text. Text. So let's do score, and then we're going to use the string interpolation here. Do that. Uh, size, let's just say whatever the default size is. Color, let's make it white. So white is all the colors. Let's just see what we got. Score. So we want when we get the score to actually update. So let's see. If we go to text, it does not tell us what it um, does. So text string, okay, we add a string called text, okay. So let's do score text, and so we do here, score text dot text. That should work, let's see if this works. Score, the new score, so we're updating the score text. Come back. There we go, score one. Score two, three. All right, so there's your score. And I think if we die, the score will go away. Yep. And there we go. So you can, of course, pass the score when your game over and then show it here as well, like a high score. Um, to do that, I'm pretty sure you can pass data here. Inside Go, you can pass any arg. So what we can do is pass score here. Now, inside game over, you're going to get some uh, data here, let's just log that out, console.log data, so that's one, two, nope, try to, no, too sh short of a snake, there we go, four. So that's how you would pass data through from scene to scene. And then so from here, I'll leave that to you to show the score like we added text here. You've got data, which is the score for passed in. You can pass in anything. It could be an object. If you want to pass in more information, in which case it would be data.score and whatnot. Right, so here it'll be um, data dot score if you are passing in more information whatever it is that you may want it to have passed all right so that wraps up our snake with kaboom js hope you've enjoyed this series if you have definitely hit like on this video and subscribe for more videos on making games with kaboom js have you any other questions about kaboom js or things you'd like to see um, in terms of games you can make with kaboom js let us know in the comments below thanks for watching Woo! <laughs>